What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we're going to be working on the 300 gallon aquarium again. Today we're going to be building the stand for it. So this stand is 6 feet long and 3 feet wide and 27 inches tall. Uh, it took me 15 2x4s to build it. Um, if you want specific dimensions of all the cuts and lengths of everything, I'll put that in the description down below. But for now, I've got everything out in the garage, so let's get out there and get building. Alright guys, so we're outside right now. We're getting ready to cut up the 2x4s. Um, that way we can get the stand building. We do have a storm that is slowly blowing in, so I hope I can get everything cut and back in the garage to assemble this before the rain gets uh, here and gets everything soaked. So, one thing I do want to talk about before I start cutting these boards is uh, there's a bit of information that I believe was common knowledge that I didn't talk about in my other stand videos, but I've gotten a lot of comments about it and I had to explain it to a couple different people. So, I think I want to cover that in this video real quick. Um, so when I say 2x4, I'm referring to a specific cut of lumber um, that is 2 inches by 4 inches. Now, when these are originally cut at the wood mill, they are 2 inches by 4 inches, but then they are planed down uh, to get the edges nice and smooth. But because they're planed down to get the edges smooth, it does reduce the size of the 2x4. So if I was to come up here and show you guys, this is a standard 2x4 that only measures three and a half inches by one and a half inches. So when they plane that material down to get it nice and smooth for us, they do lose some material. They still classify it as a two by four, but the measurements are actually three and a half by one and a half. So make sure you keep that into account when you're measuring and building your aquarium stands. So just some information I thought I would pass along that I haven't before that is kind of important. So without further ado, let's get cutting some wood. Right, guys so we got all the wood cut and it took quite a while because there's a lot of boards here um, I think I purchased 15 2 by 4 so I had to cut them all up into the pieces I need which came out to uh, four six footers um, a bunch of 33 inches a bunch of 27s and a bunch of 20s um, I'll post exact quantities in the description of how many I used in case you want to do this exact stand otherwise you know it, it could vary depending on the size of your tank um, but I'll show you everything we got cut here and the basic plan and show you what we're going to do. We'll talk about it a little bit and then I'm probably just going to time lapse build it because it's probably going to take me about two hours to actually build it real time. So if I time lapse it, I'm hoping I can kind of get it down in like 10, 15 minutes, but we'll see. So let me show you what's going on here. So basically we got your six footers and your 33 inches, which are going to build your basic frame. You're going to do this for the top and the bottom, and that's going to give you six foot by three foot. Um, from that point, the stand is going to be 27 inches tall. So you're going to have 27 inch upright in the corners. Um, and then your top frame is basically going to attach here, same as the bottom one does, just like so. And then you're going to have 20 inch supports on the back side of this, transferring the weight from the top frame to the bottom frame, as well as on the sides, transferring weight from the top frame to the bottom frame. Um, that's gonna be your main load bearing. And then I'm also gonna have these every two feet, just like I recommend on all my tank stands, every two feet you wanna have a vertical support for good support of an aquarium. Um, and then I'm also gonna have additional 33 inch pieces going across the top and bottom to help support and spread out weight distribution so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna build this and if there's anything that I feel is important or I want to talk about I'll talk about it or I'll even uh, voice it over so let's get building
right, so there's the basic frame, right? That's essentially what the size is gonna be um, and how it's gonna look overall dimensionally. Now, what we're gonna do is how I put these braces in the corner where I've got the alignment brace on the inside and then the support brace on the outside, uh, I'm gonna do the same exact thing every two feet. I've already marked out my two feet marks um, up this way and up this way. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get those installed and I'm also gonna add the support beams on the outside of the aquarium stand uh, here, here, and the same two spots on the other side over there. So let's go ahead and knock that out real quick. All right guys, so braces are on here. Corners are pretty much done. Um, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be adding some cross bracing. Um, so the tank that I have, uh, like you might've seen in the last video, it all the weight is gonna be dispersed across the entire bottom because it is a plywood bottom aquarium. Um, unlike a traditional aquarium where all of the weight rests on the frame, um, when all the weight rests on the frame, all you need is the support all the way around here, but I'm gonna need support across the middle as well. So I am gonna be installing some cross bracing. Um, so basically how this is gonna work is it's gonna fit down right alongside of these braces. And then I'm going to attach it both into this brace as well as through the front into the board, which is going to give us tons of support as well as build in some rigidity into the stand. Um, I'm gonna do this on the end and on each one of these braces on the top as well as the bottom. Um, and then I'm also contemplating adding some vertical supports underneath these as well, um, just to give it some extra strength, just because. Um, currently as it sits right now, um, given the failure rating of the common two x four is a thousand pounds vertical load at failure point. Um, so basically I have two vertical supports on each corner, which is eight and then four additionals here in the middle, which is 12. So this stand can hold theoretically 12,000 pounds at the point of failure. Uh, 300 gallon aquarium is gonna weigh roughly 3,000 to 3,500 pounds. Um, so we've basically got a safety factor of four built into this. Um, so theoretically, if you were to put a car on top of this or a truck, this would be able to hold it up off the ground. You know, if you had a crane where you could put it on here, but theoretically we're just talking weight. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put these cross braces on and uh, I'll see how rigid it is and determine if I need to put the uh, vertical braces in the middle here. I don't think we will, but let's get to it. Alright guys, so as you can see the cross braces are installed. The stand is pretty much done. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to install cross braces the same way on the bottom. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do as many, I might just do one on the inside of here and here just to help it balance out on the floor, take some of the weight and spread it out. Um, but that for the most part is going to be it. I am also going to add a couple of vertical cross braces um, on the ends in the middle. And I'm gonna add some here as well. I guess my camera decided it didn't wanna record anymore, so I didn't wanna leave it just hanging. Uh, I went ahead and I installed the boards on the bottom. Got the bottom cross bracing. Like I said, I didn't install it on every single one, just like the top, I only did every other. Um, still going to help disperse the weight out there's just not as much wood there and i don't think it's really necessary either um, and the only other thing that i did was i added bracing on the sides we got vertical supports on this end and that end down there they look exactly the same as these ones here um, and function the same way as well 
So basically, as far as vertical support goes, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this stand could hold 14,000 pounds, um, and it's transferring that weight all the way to the floor. But like I said, the 300 gallon only weighs 3,000, 4,000 max. So this is more than capable of holding up that kind of weight, especially considering the, uh, the factory stand that came with it was made out of wafer board, and this is way stronger than wafer board. So um, that's gonna be it for this video. So let's go inside and wrap things up. So now that the stand is complete, all we really have to do is get it in the fish room and get this tank onto that stand and get rid of this older stand. Um, so that'll be for another video because I still have to silicone and get the glass mounted into the frame that I built for it. Um, I know it's been like a year, almost a year and a half since I've done a video on this tank itself, um, but I am going to have another video coming up showing how I siliconed the uh, tank itself to the frame. Um, so that'll be another video coming. And then once we get it on the stand, I still have to take these tanks back here down and the 300 gallon is probably going to go in that back corner um, just because it fits over there better. And uh, that'll be it. So thank you guys for watching Trapfish Aquatics. Links as always in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.